Hello and welcome to Nuclear Rambo channel. Today I'm going to review this fantastic AC10 Tenda Wi-Fi router by talking about some of its features, unpack it, jump on the interface settings and a list of pros and cons. This video is sponsored by Banggood. Thank you Banggood for sending this awesome product. The link to this product is in the description below. Without further ado, let's start. Opening the box containing the router is effortless. After we take out the cardboard, we notice its shape in which we can find the power supply, the patch cord used for LAN or WAN connections, and the main router. The router has modern design, almost giving the feel of a gaming router. It's equipped with three LAN ports and one WAN port. 4, 5 dBi omnidirectional antennas, giving extremely nice signal coverage. So this is the unpacked product. The size of the router far exceeds my expectations, I've always liked big routers. Just look how nice it looks on my desk compared to my old router. The black color suits my gear very well. The router has some nice blue LED indicators on the front side, useful for informing you on its status. The LEDs are for system, WAN, LAN and Wi-Fi. One thing I noticed is the power supply that comes with the package is not compatible with my European power socket. Hence, I use the power supply from an older router with the same voltage to power it on. The only difference is that it has less amperage. All that's left now before I head onto the settings is plug the patch cord into a LAN port. And here we go, it's done. After connecting the PC to the router, by using a LAN port, it redirects you to this interface. Here I am creating a LAN to WAN connection using the first router. To learn more about how to create a LAN to LAN and LAN to WAN connection, look in the description below. Now we created a Wi-Fi password and we are moving forward. This is the main interface. You can use Tenda app to set up and control the router. We go through each and see what we have. Here are the internet options that we did before at the beginning. Then wireless settings like preferred band. Two G and five G connections and their options also beam forming options. Then we have bandwidth control where we can limit the speed of a certain device within the network. We move forward to parental controls where we can control a device access for children. We also have options to schedule. In this menu we can schedule wireless connection on certain hours and dates. If we go into the administration settings, we can add a password and edit one parameters. 
on LAN parameters, we change it to something other than the static address we got from the other router. The DHCP server will then give a series of IP addresses in that IP class. Change the DNS servers and then we can also activate remote web-based management with a custom IP address or full access using a custom port. Don't forget to also select the time zone accordingly. At the bottom of the page we have Reboot, Reset, Backup or Restore options. Then we have Export System Log, Upgrade Firmware, Locally or Online, And then we should change the default password so we can reboot to apply the settings. We can see here that we are back to the main interface. The IP address is with 2.1. Now we log in and I want to show you something. On the advanced tab, we have some more settings, but I won't talk about them all now. Let's move to port forwarding. Port forwarding is very useful for surveillance system if you have one. Here it's an example if we got a surveillance system with 2.50 local IP address. We had three ports, HTTP, mobile and RTSP. HTTP is 81 and mobile is 8000. This is the default for Hikvision. The last settings are on by default. A DDNS. DMZ host also UPnP firewall is really important to be left on after we have done the port forwarding settings remember one thing this port forwarding is on this router To port forward on the main router you got to use this IP address and port forward on the main router with 81, 8000 and 554 and you're done. Now to the list of pros and cons. For pros we have a nice design and size, 4 antennas help a lot so the signal coverage is great. High data transfer speed, can port forward, useful for surveillance systems, lots of settings to play with it in the browser, interface including dedicated mobile app. For cons, we have the power supply requires an adapter or change with other one if you live in Europe. It could be quite difficult to set up if you aren't accustomed to setting up routers. All of these is just my personal opinion. Thank you all for watching and thank Banggood again for sponsoring our video. See you next time guys. Bye.